All right, let's take a look at some uh, multiple choice questions to help us understand this, these cost flow assumptions a little bit better. The first one is a bit of an oddball question. It says the accounting principle that requires that the cost flow assumption be consistent with the physical movement of goods is, drum roll, well, let's see, let's go through these. It says the matching principle, well, the matching principle is an accounting principle, but that deals with expense and revenue recognition and timing, those sorts of things. Uh, consistency is actually not uh, an accounting principle. Um, so we have two wrong answers so far. Ah, here we go. Non-existent. There is no such accounting requirement. Um, this is going to be your correct answer. Um, and the point that we're trying to make with this question is that um, whatever cost flow assumption we use, it is not usually going to, it is not going to mirror physical movement of goods. Uh, to some extent, uh, FIFO would come the, would be the closest to um, for, of the physical movement of goods matching the cost flow assumption, but there is an actual requirement. Okay, so no requirement. Answer choice is C. Okay. Next one, it says, in a period of rising prices, which of the following inventory methods generally results in the lowest net income? Okay, so we have four choices. We have the average cost method or weighted average. We have LIFO, we have FIFO, and it looks like D is need more information to answer. So I want to say this right now. We absolutely have enough information to answer this question, so let's put an X right here. I will also tell you that given uh, an assumption of a perpetual inventory system, okay, so we're making an assumption that we're using a perpetual inventory system, the average cost method will always result in figures uh, in between LIFO and FIFO, whether prices are rising or whether they're going down, either way. So that means that A is also wrong because the average cost method will always be somewhere in between those two. Okay, so we now know that the answer is either B or C and we have to understand uh, conceptually what's going on here. LIFO stands for last in, first out. FIFO stands for first in, first out. So let's think about this. We have to determine, given this scenario of rising prices, cost of goods sold is going to be higher. That's not a very good question mark, is it? Cost of goods sold is going to be higher under which cost flow method, okay? Well, let's think about this with the LIFO method, with the LIFO method, the last in or the first out. And so those items are going to the items that are going to be getting expensed during a period of rising prices using LIFO are going to be highest. So as cost of goods sold goes up, net income, I'm abbreviating, goes down. And that is the scenario that we have here with the LIFO method. Prices are going up, therefore, because we are expensing those items under last, these more expensive items under LIFO, cost of goods sold goes up, net income goes down. So our answer is choice B. FIFO is an incorrect answer. Let's do one more. Says which, uh, I'm sorry, let's see, I almost skipped, I skipped one. Here we go. In a period of declining prices, which of the following inventory methods generally results in the lowest balance sheet figure for inventory? 
okay? In a period of declining prices. So we had rising prices here and declining prices here, but be careful because in this question we were asking about uh, net income and here we're talking about uh, ending inventory. So prices are on the decline. We can eliminate choices A and D for the exact same reasons we eliminated them before. Okay? So we still have our two choices of LIFO and FIFO. So let's think about this. If we were to use LIFO, we're going to expense to cost of goods sold not as much because prices are going down. So if we're, exp if we're expensing cost of goods sold low, then you know our ending inventory is going to be high because our ending inventory is going to be made up of the older more expensive inventory before the price started to decline so our answer here is fifo cost of goods sold whoops cost of goods sold is going down. I'm sorry, cost of goods sold is going up. Cost of goods sold is going up under FIFO because we're expensing older, older, more expensive inventory. So cost of goods sold is going up. So what is left at the end of the period is all of this inventory that we purchased at lower prices. So inventory goes down. So they're asking for the lowest balance sheet figure. The answer is going to be FIFO. I do apologize for my small mistake. Okay.